breaking tonight an upstate school district will now require employees to get weekly COVID tests if they're not vaccinated. 7 News Asia Wilson spent the day in Anderson District 5 to explain how they came to that decision in a story you'll only see on 7. Superintendent Tom Wilson says he hopes this new testing mandate will push more employees who are not vaccinated to actually get the shot. Right now, Anderson School District 5 is encouraging all employees to get vaccinated. If we can't have support people and teachers and administrators, then we can't open school and our, we do not want to close schools. This year, we have seen an uptick in COVID cases compared to last year. On August the 18th, I had as many cases in one day as I had in one month on last school year. Instead of mandating the vaccine, Superintendent Tom Wilson says they will soon require COVID-19 testing for employees at their school or work site. What we just, we're going to do starting on September 20th, if you're not vaccinated, Every employee who is not vaccinated will, will be tested for COVID every week. Uh, but if you are vaccinated and you have no symptoms, then you won't have to be uh, tested. To opt out of testing, an employee will have to provide vaccination verification. One grandparent hopes the testing requirement will prompt more staff to get the shot. It keeps it constantly in the teachers' faces, in the faculty members' faces, because they know they got to get tested weekly and getting swabbed weekly that that will get old. Hopefully the numbers will go down and have to be tested. Our goal is for District 5 to be the safest school district in the state when it comes to COVID exposure. That's our number one goal. Now I'm told employees who decide to get the vaccine prior to September 20th will be eligible to receive $500 if they are full time and $250 if they're part time. In Anderson, Asia Wilson, 7 News. The director of nursing says they already have the rapid testing kits provided by the Department of Education. The superintendent says if someone refuses to be tested, there would be disciplinary action.